Right, bro, you wanted to ask a question. What's your best evidence that God exists? Yeah. So, one evidence that I explained to the gentleman that's just gone. That, that, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell it again. Is that in, in, terms of, in terms of our use of mathematics, right? If you, if you do a survey of mathematicians, the vast majority of mathematicians take a Platonist point of view, right? That is that they're discovering mathematics, they're not inventing mathematics. And there's countless examples in the history of science and the history of maths where some mathematical formula was, was come across before it was discovered in nature and then it's discovered in nature and the mathematical formula just translates into nature straight away. Which is evidence of the fact that n n mathematics is encoded into nature. Right? So we're not discovering mathematics in... Sorry, we're not inventing mathematics to describe nature. We're discovering mathematics in nature. But mathematics is a language. It requires a mind. But since it is a language that existed before our minds, it must be the creation of some other mind. And this mind we call God. Right. So does language require mind? Well, yes, it does. I don't think it requires God. Does it require mind? It, 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 I suppose it requires one person to speak to another person. Thank you. So we. We're not God. Thank you. So we've established that a language require is 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 an expression of one person speaking to another person. Well, it, I imagine it starts before that with animals making noises to each other. Uh, yes, birds. Birds, birds, yes. birds have a language. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, right? Ants have a language. It's in pheromones, yes. right? But humans also have a language called mathematics, right? And it's a universal language. Every culture, even though one speaks Chinese well, what and another, the uh, well, um, if you don't, if you don't interrupt. No, I'm asking you what I've asked you for the best evidence for the existence of God. And I've given it to you. Not of mathematics. Well I'm sorry but I your your What is the existence of mathematics? Okay, if God? you interrupt me one more time, I'm gonna just stop talking right, to you. Leave it there. Okay, take care. Alright, I I, I I don't I don't I don't need to just waste my time with someone who's been obtuse.